YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy B Camp back with some more Mortal Kombat 1. This right here gonna be part two of my walkthrough series. Stay tuned for part three and let me know down in the comments if you've been enjoying this series. Let's get straight to it. Here we go, man. Part two. Let's get it. Johnny Cage. We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way. We got Johnny Cage looking like Indiana Jones. That's crazy. God damn it, Alessia. The darts came from here. Can you open it? Without killing us? <laughs> Let's hope so. Any normal person would have turned around when they saw that dead body. Johnny Cage going straight into the cave. That's crazy. Turn them off. And we're definitely getting warmer. There's gotta be some booby traps burning. in here. Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. metal in the floor it's not just any metal it's liquid mercury shit that stuff's toxic fatal only step where i step something telling me that dude ain't gonna listen huh? what did i say told you Get out the explosives. That's our bridge? Do this right, it'll fall across. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go. Kalima, they real? I would have been sprinting out. Right out of the cave. Let's see the move list. Ball Buster, Rising Star, Shadow Kick. Okay. Fight. 
Time to die, crazy lady. You okay? Yes, we ready? Physics for the win. Let's go. So now we just got to get the shield and get out. Something telling me that dude going to wake up. Might be a booby trap. It belongs in a museum. Yep. Adam. It's crazy. Where Adam gone? My best friend, and I'm not one to forgive him yet. But fight. Easy work. Now where's that shield? I'm not yet defeated. Yes, you are. Hey. That was clean. Time to go home. Hi, Freddy. I knew it. Ooh. I felt that one. You felt it too, right? Dang, he was just acting. That's crazy. That's a wrap. Right. Steven, this was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just like the old days. And these props. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch, you know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films, maybe a streaming series. Johnny, I don't have- You're right, not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't, uh, have to be with the editors. Marsha will call you. Great. Have your assistant call me. 
Well, that was great, Han. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, hmm. Johnny, we need to talk. That boy Johnny trying to get busy. You're Talking about a private party. Megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris, we're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is selling this place. Mm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10000 on that sculpture, 30000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from... Ugh, Dang, he got Kenji, uh, sword. Chris, honey. Or can she? Hearts, the I'm bad. Money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't... Johnny Cage is done. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Chris. Come That's on. Tough. Chris, where are you going? Fuck. How do you like that, Mr. A-list? Thank God. Oh, Chris, honey, I... Hold on, who is this? Hey, if somebody robbed your crib with a sword, what did you... your wife they mean business. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. Some kind of this dude story. broke in with a sword. That's that's so crazy. Know history. I know it. It's my family blade. No. So this is Kenshi, I'm guessing. Hey, your Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Here we go. Fight. Here we go. One more. I am the ultimate home security Add him up. So, you have a name or what? Kenji Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the sea. It's crazy because Kenshi used to be blind. There now he can survivors. see. In this timeline. They hid themselves by shedding the name Taira for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption. Reclaim our name and our position. 
But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. <laughs> well, that's crazy. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. <laughs> Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. <laughs> Kenshi Takahashi. A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Be hot. Imagine Luke Kane knocking Peace. on your door. You don't know he a fire guy. Right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts. I wouldn't let him in. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Hey you. Uh. Hey you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. <laughs> mm. Damn. Hit him with a four-piece combo. Four-piece chicken nugget. Brother, to put him in his place. That was a hit truly. One of a kind. Alright, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Here you go. Fart. Time to throw hands. There we go. Insured because you're paying for my hachuli. Imbecile, you have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah, uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Kwai Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang. Protector of Earthrealm, God of Fire. Well, that last one tracks, but what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge, and because your service will change the arcs of your lives. It's 
Now they're about to train. Part three, chosen one. I'm tripping. I was raiding. That is not a good idea. It is. He finally got his hat. The next time we see Sub Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Kung Lao put a blaze on his hat. Effective. That was clean. Maybe it's too effective. Uh, we just need to get on with it. We've been cooped up here for months. I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. <laughs> That's why you're here? Luke and ready to fight. would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My aunt will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh, <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched, but Outworld is gaining strength. That was a good question, though. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully. Because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. Ready for your close-up? All right, let's do this. But remember, Fawn Boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. So I fight. guess we're ready. Let's see his moves. He only got cartwheel kick. Okay. Oh yeah, cause he don't got his power yet in this. There we go. That's why I don't need stunt doubles. Easy work. This fight was an honor. I'm trying to figure out how Raiden's gonna get his uh, lightning powers. Kenshi Takahashi. Cause he need him for sure. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. 
Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! That was too easy. I won't do it again. question my nerve I do not yours was a well-earned victory I like Kenshi's uh character design this evening you will tattoos and everything opponent. Kung Lao. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty. Not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. Let's see. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight. Hey. Oh, that's hot. Hey. Get one more. Like lightning. First time for everything, Kung Lao. So Raiden is the strongest. In the beginning, it was Kung Lao. Trained well. Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have? For the tournament, you will need this. Okay, so this is how he get his powers. Gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead. Okay. Try it. The 
I see. That's clean. Holy Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> it is incredible. But is it necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. So now we're going to Outworld. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Johnny K's got the phone out. Sindel's daughters. Yes. Tana and Melina. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. I wonder if Shao Kahn is a king. Described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> Our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Dang. She harsh. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. So 
Reich geherrscht. Worry expends energy for no purpose, Raiden. But the tournament, if I lose, focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Shalkan. Alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shah. Do not play the general. With you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will. Will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang, in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult you can't path be ahead. It's time to fight. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. Hey, nobody like her. She let the king die. You do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many. Here we go. It's time to fight. I will prevail. It's time to throw hands. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. See the moves electric or razzle dazzle, electric fly, lightning port. Light. Hold on, electric or fly. Hey. 
There we go. I will admit we gotta get one more. Easy work. Thank you for the match, First Constable. That's tough. She got embarrassed. In front of the queen, everybody. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in molded him into the perfect soldier few others are as well versed in the ways of war. doing a lot of talking oh yeah that's not gonna work Reiko too stiff in whose army have you served in what wars have you fought I have done neither then you are woefully unprepared Earthrealmer this will be your right, let's get it. battlefield Uh, Reiko too stiff, man. Easy work, man. Felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raven. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the high mage of Outworld. Not his given name. But one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, 
I am fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? My it's tradition, time. you should not. If you did, I was wondering who that was earlier. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. But the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age. The memories of that strife still linger. My husband Jared believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> Our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You hey. heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all... That's enough, General. My apologies, your majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. But Shao Kahn won't smoke. He's trying to throw hands for sure. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earth Realmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, your majesty? Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises. Shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. Hey. He if talking crazy. If we see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, General. Come. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. Was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Kitana will take your place. What? There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just needed time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. <sighs> so Melina got a disease. You continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, your majesty. Then next you face my daughter. Katana. I was getting serious. Your majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. 
but I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my master, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of Outworld. Fight! That was too easy. Sir, you fight well, Princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again under different circumstances. It's time for the fun. What do you mean by that? It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War, conqueror of the Quattle. He was talking Plains, crazy at the dinner. Defender of the Navala Coast, as has his family for generations. I was trying to put the money where your mouth is. Defends us with Let's see if he can fight. Tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would. All right, here we go. Fight. Keep getting me with that grab. Done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. That was easy. <clears throat> May I assist you? Stay away, Earth Realm. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. 
come. Let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. All right, yeah! That was great! Very impressive. Uh, it's good to see you. So he has gears working for him. Liu Kang, I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. That was fast. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. All right, that's going to be the end for part two of my Mortal Kombat 1 walkthrough. Stay tuned for part three. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'm out, man. Peace.